Hi everybody, Sean Delman here. Welcome to my new Walkthrough Wednesday series. So uh, lately a lot of different people have been asking me about how I use my voice in LinkedIn. So in this video I'm going to be showing you two features in LinkedIn that I find to be particularly helpful. So by the way, when I say use my voice, I, I literally mean my speaking voice. I don't mean it in like an abstract sense of using LinkedIn as a platform for my voice or opinions. I, I mean my actual voice, you know, what you're hearing now. So the first feature that I want to talk about is the ability to leave a voice note next to your name in your profile. So here I am in a full screen window in LinkedIn on my PC. As you can see, I've blurred out people's uh, profile pictures and names and content uh, for the purposes of confidentiality. So I'll go into my profile by clicking on my name. And once I'm in my profile, you'll see that there's a little speaker icon next to my name. If you click on the icon, this is what you'll hear. Sean Dillman, thank you for visiting my profile. I look forward to connecting with you. So as you can hear, I used it to provide my name and a little blurb to say hello and that it'd be a pleasure to connect. Uh, I believe that the intended purpose of this feature is to allow people to leave a recording of their name so that people can you know, know how it's pronounced, but it's nice to give a personal touch, so I use the extra time to say a little more. Um, if you've done this or you know someone that set up a particularly good one, please mention their name uh, in the comments below so that we can learn from them. You know, one of the great things about this LinkedIn community is that we can, we can all learn from one another and figure out best practices. So the next feature that I want to show you is the ability to send voice notes using the messaging service. So here I am in the messaging area of LinkedIn, and again, it looks like this because I've blurred out all of the information for other people. Um, so I'll go into a recent message that I sent, and you'll see that there is a rectangular box with a little play icon in it. So if I click on the play icon, this is what you'll hear. Hello there, thank you very much again for speaking with me on the, uh, the Zoom call the other day. It was a pleasure to meet you, and thank you very much for uh, connecting with me on LinkedIn. I hope that you're having a great day, and uh, I look forward to talking with you soon. Okay, bye-bye. So as you can hear, this is a message that I left following up with somebody who connected with me after a Zoom call the other day. So there's a lot of great things about being able to send a voice note like this. Uh, because of the current situation with the pandemic, many of us aren't able to see as many people as we used to. So by leaving a message like this, it's a great way to be able to get a feeling of actual human interaction and, and leave a message with your own voice. It also saves quite a bit of time to send a voice note because it's easier to just talk something out instead of typing it. A voice note also conveys a lot of emotional information that just wouldn't come through in a text message. I've actually been sending a lot of these notes recently in the past months, and uh, in general, I've been getting great feedback from people who say that they've really enjoyed hearing them and, and having a personal message from somebody. Okay, so now you may be wondering, how do you actually use these features? So I haven't looked into it, but I believe that these features are only available on the LinkedIn mobile app. Uh, presumably, LinkedIn wants as many people as possible to use the app, and that's the most likely explanation, which is fair enough. So let's start with recording a name pronunciation in your profile. So here I am on my phone, I open the LinkedIn app, I click on my profile picture in the top left corner, then settings, then account preferences, then name, location, and industry, and then I click on the little pen icon on the right side of the screen. Once it comes up, I click on the pen icon next to name pronunciation, and it gives me two options, record new pronunciation and delete this pronunciation. Okay, I already have one set up, but I'll delete it just to show you how to record one. So once I delete it, this is what it'll look like if you don't have one recorded. Click on Add Name Pronunciation, and then press and hold the blue recording icon. As it says, you can always slide away to cancel if need be. And assuming that I'm happy with it, I can click Apply, and then Save in the top right corner, and then that's it. Okay, next. To send a voice note, go into the messaging area and find a person that you'd like to send a message to. Click on their profile photo, and you'll see that there's a small microphone icon. Press on the microphone icon and hold it for the duration of the recording. Just like with recording a name pronunciation, if something happens and there's background noise or you decide that you don't want to send the message, you can either slide away to cancel the message or press on the word cancel when you're done recording. Assuming that you're happy with the recording, press send and that's it. Okay, thanks very much for watching. If you liked this video and found it to be helpful, please like, comment, follow, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have an idea for a future Wednesday walkthrough video and you need help with something that you don't know how to do, just let me know and I'll, I'll see what I can do. Stay tuned for next week. I'll be showing you how to use rules in Outlook to quickly clean up and organize your inbox. Okay, thanks again. I'm Sean Dillman with Waythorn Legal Training.